On behalf of the New India Foundation, I'm absolutely delighted to bring to you the much awaited long list of the Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay NIF Book Prize 2022. As many of you know, this prize recognizes and celebrates the finest works of non-fiction about modern and contemporary India published in the previous calendar year, so in this case, 2021. This year, we had approximately 200 entries from academic as well as trade publishers, both national and international. This was a really rich harvest, a rich pool from which to choose. The richness of this pool is reflected in the wonderful diversity of our long list, which I will share with you very shortly. But before I do so, a word about the books themselves. These books cover many themes in modern Indian history, from nationalist history to environmental history, art history, business history, the history of state institutions, um, the history of intercommunity relations, and so on. Then we also have books that speak specifically to the contemporary moment on data, on feminism, and even an interpretation of the question of nationalism in the present moment looked at against the backdrop of India's history. Each of these books is deeply researched, engagingly written, and reflects meaningfully on the contemporary Indian condition. And so here is the long list in alphabetical order of the author's last names. Shweta S. Balakrishnan, Accidental Feminism, Gender Parity, and Selective Mobility Among India's Professional Elites. How often do we hear about gender equality in any workplace? This is a fascinating account of how and why women lawyers in elite law firms have achieved professional success and even a measure of gender equality that is quite exceptional, including when this is compared with professional women in consulting firms. Partha Chatterjee, The Truths and Lies of Nationalism as narrated by Charvak. As the pandemic raged, noted political theorist Partha Chatterjee found a manuscript on his doorstep purportedly written by the ancient Indian philosopher Charvak. He translates Charvak's text for us, exploring the very contemporary question of Indian nationalism. What kind of a nation is India and to whom does it belong? Yashodhara Dalmia, Sayyid Haider Raza, the journey of an iconic artist. This splendid biography of the great painter Sayyid Haider Raza is also simultaneously a history of the world of modern Indian art, of Raza's famous fellow artists, the artistic trends of his times, and his own artistic journey from Bombay to Paris and to, then to Delhi. Subrat K. Mitra, Governance by Stealth, The Ministry of Home Affairs and the Making of the Indian State. This is a rare institutional history. It draws on declassified secret files to analyze a most important and very powerful state institution. And it's rather mixed record of maintaining orderly rule. Shekhar Pathak, The Chipko Movement, A People's History. The definitive history of the Chipko Movement by a scholar who has practically lived it. The book brings alive the forests, the fields, and the rivers of Uttarakhand, as also its people, through whose eyes this story is effectively told. Mercia Rayanu, Tata, the global corporation that built Indian capitalism. A masterful history of India's most well-known corporation and its role in every important transition in the history of Indian capitalism, in the context of empire, in the national movement, in the developmental nation state, and most recently, of course, in the context of liberalization and globalization. Rukmini S, Whole Numbers and Half-Truths, What Data Can and Cannot Tell Us About Modern India. Can we know India better through numbers? This innovative book looks closely at data from multiple sources, unsettling many of our assumptions, debunking many myths we hold, and giving us an alternate picture 
of the realities of India today. Usha Thakkar, Congress Radio, Usha Mehta, and the Underground Radio Station of 1942. This is an exciting and suspenseful story of a remarkable, though short-lived experiment, the Underground Radio Station set up by 22-year-old Usha Mehta and her comrades to counter imperial propaganda in the wake of the Quit India movement of 1942. Suchitra Vijayan, Midnight's Borders, A People's History of Modern India. A riveting account of the author's journey along 9,000 miles of the Indian border, showing how borders are actually lived and experienced. The book spotlights the divergence between the political history of the nation and the local, often heartbreaking stories of the ordinary people who live along its borders. Ghazala Wahab, born a Muslim, Some Truths About Islam in India. A compelling portrait of Indian Islam and of what it is like to live as a Muslim in India today. The book offers a timely, historically nuanced rebuttal of pervasive stereotypes. That then was the long list. We will be back in the first week of November with the short list and on the 1st of December with an announcement of the winner of the fifth Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay NIF Book Prize 2022. Our warmest congratulations to the authors of the long-listed books and our warm thanks to all those who wrote terrific books even if they did not make it to the long list. Thank you.